Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the nice square today. It's a bit of a time lapsey thing. Um this video took two windy bit however long this commentary takes to make. I don't know if I should include commentary in this, but the actual visuals took about two hours, just over two hours. And uh me sorting out the roads and getting the terrain and, and fields around them sorted. And unfortunately this is just probably the smallest loop of laneways in the map. And you can see me just fiddling the terrain and, and doing all sorts of really silly fiddly things. Which I kind of got disillusioned towards the end and just kind of gave up. <laughs> uh, the fields might move in towards the roads a bit more um, in you know when I'm doing the finishing touches and once I get the hedges in which the hedges will be I don't know when I'm going to put the hedges in um, sorry if I like blow into the mic or something it's at an awkward place and I blow in weird ways um <laughs> But yeah, um, no sound because Giant's editor, and I was listening to uh, classic rock, so I, you know, Black Sabbath and the Who, as well as Queen playing when I was recording this, which is lovely. So yeah, this the entire purpose of this series is number one, I wanted to make a map, and I wanted to um, kind of show off that anyone can make a map you know just learn Giants Editor which it's not that hard if you can get your hands on the modding tutorials um, you know it's it's actually quite easy to get a map made um, it takes time yes but there's no specific skill involved other than well do you have the skill of patience <laughs> do you have patience do you have dedication if so you can make a map um, it does help if you got an absolute ton of free time which I really don't uh, which is why this week's Donetsk video I'm gonna try and make one once a week if I can um, unfortunately Donetsk is probably gonna be the first thing to go when work uh, picks up uh, yeah, we'll do an ask weekly. I will keep working on it in the background, but there won't be any weekly videos because I won't be able to dedicate any, um, well, any, any great length of time to this, unfortunately. And things are starting to pick up now because we're in the final stages of planning for something big. So this section of the video here, and I do remember what I did because I did it, and it took so long that. It was just a lot of tinkering. This section I'm trying to figure out, um, as you can see me just go destroying some roads and, and d d you know fiddling about here. I'm trying to decide what angle I want this road to move to because I want to hook up this lower section towards the bottom of the screen with the uh, upper section that's up towards the top and I'm just trying to figure out what angle I want to use. So to start off at 10 degrees, I think that's 20 degrees I've got there. And it's like just for the sake of it, I think oh, it might be tw yeah, tw well, it might be ten and forty-five, but I decided to just go a bit overboard and start and try at forty-five, and it turns out in this situation that overboard is probably actually correct. And now there's the whole faff of oh, what's the correct angle? Find the correct angle to the like hundredth of a degree, because that's how insane I am. And it's sort of there. Yeah, it's there. Just fix it up, and there we go. That's the kind of deed. That's the kind of attention to detail I think all map makers should have. And it's actually why I'm going down harder on map makers of of late. Uh, mod authors. Uh, yes, there's a lot of skill involved in making a mod, and you do require specific talents. But um, sometimes you, it's very hard to not go. What on earth are you doing? This is terrible. Why did you think this was a good idea? 
like with the Porsche Cayman that came out last week and that I did a, a mod spotlight of on Saturday. That's it's mods like that that make you wonder what way the modding community is gonna go. Cause that guy, whoever made it, I'm gonna be fair to the guy. Probably quite new to modding. Um, Cause they thought having a ridiculously high detail, sorry, a ridiculously high poly model that was still low detail somehow. They thought that was a good idea. It didn't turn on smooth shading, so the um, end product was a a real bit of a mess. Like that. I wanted to show that off, number one, to show what a bad mod really looks like. Because I've said that some bod mods are just plain bad. That one was just... Do you know the, X the XML and all oh, that was kind of right? The modeling wasn't very good. And I kind of wanted to show off with that. And I do apologize to the mod author that I chose your mod. Uh, if you Number one, if you're watching, and number two, if you understand English, because... Well, I believe it's probably a German author, so um, I suppose in, in auf Deutsch, uh, sehr schnell. Es tut mir leid. Es war nichts persönlich. Aber it needed to be done. I can't remember the German for that. Uh, just to, as if to prove it, if, as if I needed to prove I could speak German as well. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, it wasn't any anything personal. It was just I wanted to show off. I kind of wanted to show that the model doesn't make a mod, and that you can make a model with however many polys you want, but. If it doesn't stand up in game under any kind of scrutiny, which that model model didn't, and that terrifying Barbie thing. Seriously, if you're making a mod, don't put the terrifying Barbie thing in. That uh, I didn't know that was there. The reaction you saw in that video was my actual was my genuine reaction. Just, oh. That was me. <laughs> that was me checking Spotify because Iron Man started playing by uh, Black Sabbath. Um. <laughs> so yeah, some of my reactions in in um, modern map spotlights are kind of exaggerated. F you know, for for entertainment purposes. And this is going to be the 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 mood <laughs> as I suddenly. Um, remix myself. This is going to be the, the series where I'm probably my most genuine because this is me doing my own thing, I guess. Um, most of my series, you you can probably figure out by now, I do exaggerate reactions slightly for entertainment pur purposes. Um, that The reaction to that thing was genuine. I That was scary. But I can't... <laughs> I'm looking. I'm thinking back at the the mod spotlight from last week, and I'm just going to talk about stuff today. If you didn't guess already, I'm I'm thinking back to the mod spotlight last week because I can remember doing it, and I'm just thinking. I kind of showed off the two different aspects of modding and what can go wrong, because the Porsche, yes, it was really uh, high poly and reasonably detailed in in the modeling. Um. But the model just wasn't very good in general, as I'm fixing all the clip distances now. Um, the model wasn't very good, but everything else was fine. All the XMLs and scripts did seem to perform as well as they, they could, really. Um, they seemed to be functional. Whereas with the um, class tractor pack, the issue lay with the scripts in the XML. And that kind of fell flat because they... The mod author probably converted them from 2013 as best he could. Or she. And they just fell flat on their face because the scripting and LUAs and um, that aspect of it wasn't 
that aspect of it wasn't working properly, I guess, is the best way of putting it. And this is me trying to fix another bit of the road. Seriously, this the reason that I'm deleting and going along like this is... Um, I don't think I mentioned it in this, this take, because there was a previous take. Um, this is the first and a half attempt at this loop. And it is a loop that I'm working on at the moment here. Um, you'll see there's a couple of... You'll have already seen me going through the first junction within the loop, and I'm kind of working my way towards the second one, which is where I didn't manage to get everything back in working order. That's when I realized I can scale... <laughs> yeah, that's definitely when I re That's when I realized I can scale the, uh, the hills a bit. Which did help a lot, actually. Um... Up until that point, th that precise point when I was recording that, um, I kind of was forcing myself to work a hundred, you know, on normal scaling. So this next little segment, of probably a couple of minutes, that I don't know what happened. Um, there's there's one bit section coming up, and I've no idea what happened, but a section of road just flat out disappeared. Um, it was really weird. I was fiddling with it and I pressed something on my mouse and it just disappeared. I think I might have delete bound to a button on my mouse on uh, some setting or other. But um, the first attempt, I was going around the other direction, which is why I'm kind of working towards roads that already exist. And uh, this is me after realizing that a field is a bit wonky. There we go. Um, I was working towards roads that already exist in this one because I'd already gone through around the whole thing. But this is me fixing it because I'd made a mistake somewhere and it wasn't matching quite right. Um, and I decided I'd just work from one end and try and get it to match up at the other end as best I can. It turns out uh, while I was recording this that I did it. I had succeeded in my mission. I'm sorting out the uh, Y rotation before I start sort out the X rotation here uh, because the if I do both once it'll create a Z rotation so you want to work on one axis only ever for rotation so if you got you say if you want an X and a Y rotation you sort out the Y rotation first um, which is rotating it around the green axis you can see and then you sort out the X rotation which is the I don't know what axis it is because I can't see it at the moment which is lovely but uh, th yeah this is me just fiddling around trying to get the these hills to work within the context of the map um, getting everything smoothed in and all that kind of nonsense I'm just really glad that I was listening to uh, to classic rock while I was doing this because otherwise I would have been extremely bored and quite angry. Um, but you you want to start off always if you're moving something and you need two uh, two trend uh, two rotations. Um, first you do the Y, which is around the green, and then you do the X, which is around the red, or the Z, which is around the blue. Um, personally, I wouldn't advise ever using a Z rotation, uh, especially not with a road, because that will just cause problems always and forever. I'm going to have a quick drink of tea, because I'm thirsty. Hot. Okay, that was a lot hotter than I'd expected. Ah. Um... Yeah, the, this road system is... I'm still going to come out down on like big glaring errors, like a big gap in roads, because it kind of shows a lack of attention to detail, and you can see me... This is the point where I started giving up on getting the roads just the way that I wanted them to, to be. Um... Uh, and my god, it's 
It's kind of funny seeing this in, you know, four times acceleration because I know for a fact this took about five minutes in real time, at least. You know, it's, it's all little movements, and I think I was listening to uh, We Will Rock You at this point. Or possibly later on. You know, classic rock, always the best thing. And <laughs> then I just gave up and decided to go back to to uh, to basics and try and get it to match up from here or something. Which kind of worked, I think. Uh, oh no, this is attempt number two. There are three attempts at getting this road done correctly. This was attempt number two, and you can see kind of to the right. I'm trying to f fix the. Uh, yeah, that's where I g <laughs> that's where I gave up. Uh, I was trying to fix the thing. The, the terrain so that it would mesh properly um, with the weird uh, Z scale I think it was uh, that didn't work at all so here I'm just trying to get these to work again and g getting them to work amazingly just doing a bit of tinkering now to get them right yeah, correct. Because I want to be—I don't want to be the person who goes on about roads and maps and then makes an absolute hames of their own roads. And uh, at the end of this video, you will see the existing road system. There are a few things that I will need to put in yet. Uh, I need to get a bridge for one. The the map is going to have a few bridges. I need to get. At least two different models, possibly three. Um, and the one for the, the river is going to be the hardest model to find. I may have to do something a bit weird with that. Uh, but I will need to. I will need to get um, a model for rivers and a model for well, a model for the river because it's only going to be crossed once. As well as a model for the railway line, which is going to be crossed at least twice to my from memory, possibly three times. How many times is it across? I think three times the railway line will be crossed, but those bridges will be going in after the railway line. So I'm kind of kind of stop doing roads at at some point and throwing the railway line, which will all be on a flat plane just because that's going to be the easiest way to put it in and more tinkering with the road here it's just it's just a lot of tinkering and really just faff and then <laughs> I think that was me going through a few songs because there were ads playing or something and I didn't like it um, but yeah, I think I might do more videos like this in the future for Donescus. Just do a bit of work record in OBS. And I've changed the gamma settings, so you shouldn't have such funky... Um, I'm going to just say plain weird. Oh. Well, that's when the thing just flat out disappeared. I think. Um, I'm going to play with the gamma settings and try and get it so that it looks somewhat better because right now the contrast is still weird and that's I can't fix it because the, co the the gamma settings in OBS were set such that it it would just if I fixed the color settings uh, it would just completely wash out the video unfortunately and I know this because I tried um, so for the time being and just this video, essentially, you'll have to put up with weird, funky contrast and colours. Um, and you can see the grass over there that I'll be getting rid of very quickly, or very soon. And uh, I'm quite happy with how the lane looks at the moment. Obviously, there's still, you know, bushes and trees and hedges to go in. And uh, I will... Yeah, I will be using, I think it's Dorset's Bingabold Foliage Pack, I think it is. 
Gonna check. Come here, FSUK. Um, uh, do, do, do workshop. Dorset's big and bold foliage pack. I was correct. Uh, also, a couple of other things that I want to throw in. Uh, also from FSUK. So, I will most likely be playing around with them. Uh, such as the new manure heap. And. Ooh! A shader pack? What does this shader pack do? I'm sorry, I'm on FSUK now. Ooh! That might be useful. Um, so, yeah. Roads. They're the thing I complain about most on maps. And they're the absolute worst things to put in. I don't feel guilty about complaining about them. Because I... Th I'm one of those people who thinks that a, f a good map has a good road system. So, I don't mind spending 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 hours getting my road system in Donetsk exactly the way I want it to be. And you can see here that I'm just going almost OCD with that, with some of the sections of road. You know, I want the, the road to be a specific way, and I'm not going to accept it to be any less in my maps and you know I did say maps plural uh, I may return to mapping for something that's a bit less insane than Donetsk in the future um, assuming you know I actually get Donetsk done in the first place <laughs> but uh, there is a part of me that wants to um, make more maps after Donetsk and I know Donetsk is nowhere near done uh, but you know there is a part of me that's real well I'm really enjoying making the map um, it's actually a really good way to relax and that sounds odd because you know all I'm doing is just well where does this go over here okay well it's the next piece it has to link on to it so it has to go there you know, there's very little thought involved in making a map. <laughs> that sounds bad. That, that, I might have misphrased that. There's a lot of thought involved in making a map. There's very little active thought involved in the process. Um, for example, you have to think out where your fields are going to be, but once you've decided that, it's just drawing them in. You have to decide where your road system is, and this is kind of... Uh, the road system I'm putting in is kind of a, um, it's gonna be different from what it is in reality. Um, the map is inspired by the real area and here's where I realized I can just put in some extra uh, turns to get the roads to line up a bit nicer. The road system is gonna be inspired by reality but it's not gonna be, you know, the real road system. Um, so, you know, there will be roads where there aren't roads in reality, and there will be no roads where there are roads in reality. Um, the main road is, for the most part, now here's where I started screwing with scale again, and I think it failed miserably. Um, <laughs> the main road, the... the Dual ca the dual lane road that passes through the map, that is exactly where it is in reality. Um, to within like half a meter or so. As much as possible, that's where it really is. Um, and here's where I realized the scaling was a bad idea. Um, the main road is more or less where it is in reality. The laneways, I wanted to... Um... Well, I want to because they're not all in yet but the, I've got them all designed out and you'll see there are sections of asphalt um, painted up around the map uh, you'll actually see it coming up fairly soon where there's just an asphalt line disappearing off into nothingness uh, that's going to be a, a laneway I've got it planned out and drawn out on the map uh, the next step 
yeah, the next step is to obviously get them into the map and draw, you know, and and, and place them down. But uh, the planning work is done, so it's just placement, 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 and then after that, it'll be possibly hedges and railway and bridges and stuff like that. Um, unfortunately, the easiest bit of the map is is already done. The easiest bit of making this map, and you actually got a glimpse of the uh, the plans for future roads or on one of the hills there very quickly. Uh, you'll probably see it again in a moment. Because I did spend quite a lot of time looking at the distant hills, I think. Um, the easiest part of doing this map, I think, was going to be the painting of the fields. I think it's possibly the easiest part of every map. It's just deciding where the fields are and hey, there they are. After that, it just gets complicated because you're trying to... Especially if you plan on releasing it, I think. You're plan. you know, you're... you're you're doing stuff like this where you spend 5, 10, 15 minutes on a small, you know, 10, sec 10, 10 meter section of road just trying to bop it into perfectness, into perfection. And I just realized there's a small area there that isn't perfect. <sighs> Hope I caught that later on. <laughs> David Oldfield kind of said it best <laughs> in uh, the mapping Mondays that I watch today. The modding Mondays that he does is just that mapping is... It involves a lot of different skills to... Um, to making a vehicle or piece of equipment mod or a script. But it's still hard. It's It's... You know, where there's probably less skill involved. Um, there's a lot more time used up. I think I even... Ch yeah, this is a bit where I decided... Hang on. I can just... Um, on You know, use the maps on uh, XYZ axis because it's at a 90 degree angle convenient it was just convenient enough to use the maps on axes there because it was a 90 degree turn so it worked nicely for me I explained that horribly I know what I meant um, I'm not good at explaining things so this is the section now where I became the happiest because I realized I was coming up to a junction and I was just moving things up by yeah, you know, small amounts. Which meant that I could just insert a one meter section of road into the junction and um it would all line up again perfectly the way that I wanted. Uh also can just what made me really almost the happiest was they were all on the on the same level. I was just moving things in you know, the uh XZ axis instead of is it XZ? I suppose it would, yeah, it is XZ instead of the Y axis. The Y axis being up, so I was moving it kind of forward and to the left, or forward or to the left. And here's the uh, filler section of road. As I accidentally paste the uh, value into the wrong one, and there we go. That's the roadway fixed. As I just. Oh yeah, fi fixing clip distances again. It's the most annoying thing for roads is clip distances. And then I discussed. Then I realised that I'd actually started the, uh, the lane with, with with completely different intentions. Once I get this section here done, I realised that hang on, the laneway was gonna have, yeah, the gravel showing, and I changed my mind. Uh, shortly thereafter, so I'll probably spend two or three hours fixing all the lane down here. I'm getting rid of that damn grass because that is really, really irritating for now. 
Um, I will put the grass back in, obviously, but right now it's just... It's actually kind of an annoyance. Because it makes it hard to see what on earth it is I'm doing. Um, especially when I'm working with terrain editing and they decided to try and get around the grass, which kind of worked. This section, I don't know what's going on with the terrain, though. Um, I may have to make the roads invisible. Anyway, we are coming up to the end of the video, believe it or not. Uh, almost there, don't worry. Well, you guys will know, because the little red bar on YouTube will be almost full. You can check it if you want. If you don't trust me, you can check it. It is almost full by now. Um, <laughs> this map is one tiny little baby step closer to completion now, which is good. And here's where I'm just, again, fixing clip distances. Clip distances are everything. Just realized that I need an extra bit of dirt in there to get into the, the uh, field. And I might move some of these field entrances about. Um, fixing clip distances, fixing small bits of things now, just doing some little detail work. And zoom out now. That's the loop I've been working on, and that's the entire road system. Video's over now, guys. You can go.